Welcome back to Westcott Field and Pony Up TV. The Mustangs leading the Campbell University Camels, excuse me, fighting Campbells. Camels. 3 0 at halftime on goals by Eddie Monjoma, Talon Maples, and Garrett McLaughlin. For Monjoma and Maples, those were the first goals of their careers. And uh, certainly very encouraging to see goals coming from uh, some maybe less expected sources. Again, through the first one and a half games, we've talked several times about all the talent SMU lost from last year. And there's no doubt that the the three guys up front, DJ Williams, Garrett McLaughlin, and Akeen Shackelford, are going to score some goals. But to get goals out of your midfield and certainly out of your defense got to be very encouraging. You can look at the goals one of two ways. All three of them came on set pieces, which means either they're off to a good start and have worked out some kinks on the set pieces, or you really want to see some in the regular 11-on-11 flow of the game. With, uh, with a 3-0 lead, you know, maybe you can try some things to free people up and make some new runs. Um, also of note tonight, Grant Makala is in goal. Wasn't tested very much. He had one test, and it was a big one, and he came up huge. There was a cross that got deflected, and while he was already leaning to his left, he was able to then sort of lunge back and throw an arm up in the air. And he is a big guy with long arms. He's six foot four, and if he were six one or two, I don't think he stops that ball from going in. It was headed to the upper corner, upper left corner of the goal. He was able to get one of his paws on it and knock it over the uh, crossbar, which is the biggest chance Campbell had to erase the zero on their side of the scoreboard. We are underway. Akeen Shackelford is in the starting lineup for the Mustangs in the second half, as is Knut Ollander. And beyond that, I think those are the only two newcomers in, uh, or, the, or Lane Warrington as well. Um, those are the three who did not start, but have started the second half coming out of the, uh, coming out of the locker room. Quick whistle by referee Travis Haight. Sets up a free kick for Campbell. And Travis Haight. Okay, he had something in his hand. I wondered if he was pulling a card. As it turns out, he uh, has some of the magic spray. He's marked off 10 yards so that Ben Morrison will take this free kick for the Camels. And he was uh, Haight was simply marking off how close Nicky Hernandez could get um, before he could play that ball. Free kick is crossed and eventually tracked down. Ian Reese tried to send it into the center, but Tom Haney was there, got a foot on it, exactly as Reese hit it. Sends it well over the end line, and so with just over a minute and a half gone in the second half, Campbell, Campbell will have a corner kick. Gabe Parrish will do the honors for the Camels. He will tee it up in the northeast corner over in front of Moody Coliseum. His corner comes all the way out to Akaban Nosegbi. And Grant Makala, I believe, was completely screened because Nosegbi got sort of a sidewinding serve on that and drilled it, and it glanced up and off the crossbar. And Grant Makala, I don't think, ever moved. I don't know if he even saw that before it was almost behind him. And uh, very fortunate for the Mustangs that that wasn't a little bit lower and a little bit to the left because that was very close to making this a 3-1 game. Really nice shot by uh, Abikan Nosegbi. Throw in coming up for Campbell. Over the head of Jalen James. Settled by Donnelly. Ijeonu with a cross into the middle. Umberto Chavez, his shot blocked out front by Knut Ollander. Over to Ben Morrison, his pass forward interrupted 
intercepted by Eddie Monjoma, but Campbell able to get it back. Ian Reese, long drive, and he just missed. That got over, over Grant Makala, and I guess he had it read perfectly because he got up in the air, it went just over his hand, and then cleared the bar by inches. I don't think there was even a foot over the bar. That was just a couple inches over the bar. Maybe it didn't look so dangerous from Grant Makala's angle, but it was close from up here. Left-footed Makala. Long goal kick off the back of the head of Emil Kweshu. Shackleford able to fight through a couple of defenders, swings it wide to Eddie Manjoma. Manjoma cuts back, tries to connect with Shackleford, but his pass knocked down. Now Kweshu out wide to Lane Warrington. Warrington started up the sideline, then pulled it back, trying to connect with Emil Quasho. Knocked out of bounds, and Warrington will have a throw in for the Mustangs. Four and a half minutes gone in the second half. Warrington, the freshman from Lawton, Oklahoma. Standing about 25 yards off the end line. And assistant coach Brett Kozakowski is up realigning the SMU defense. Or the, sorry, the offense. Canute Islander, left-footed serve, curled into the top of the box. Emil Quasho tried to flick it on. But it comes back the other way for Campbell. Donnelly tried to send it in, knocked out momentarily by Haney. Jalen James cuts inside Bernie. And, sorry, that wasn't Bernie. That was Talon Maples who took him down, and Campbell will have a penalty kick. You hate to see a takedown in the box, but he sort of had no choice at that point. Jalen James did a nice, a nice job settling the ball with one touch and then cutting back behind Maples, got a step on him. And Maple's choices were either to take him down or let him go in untouched toward Grant Makala. So it's sort of a lose-lose situation from Talon Maple's standpoint. Jalen James with the PK and Grant Makala with the save. The junior from Destin, Florida, hasn't been tested often, but he's been tested hard a couple of times and came up big both times. You know, on penalty kicks, more often than not, goalies have to sort of pick a direction and guess. And he guessed right, and he swallowed that thing up. It wasn't a particularly hard shot, and it wasn't near the corner by James, but no PK is easy, and Grant Makala coming up with a huge save for the Mustangs to preserve the shutout. Garrett McLaughlin in toward the middle to Nicky Hernandez, looked up field, saw Ben Morrison coming on his shoulder, dropped it back to Maples, long ball directed for Eddie Manjoma on the right touch line. And Gideon Betts, the central defender for Campbell, able to get over and knock it out with his head. Garrett McLaughlin will take the throw for the Mustangs, but not until a shift as six foot three Tom Haney, six one Talon Maples all come forward and Eddie Manjoma drops back into a defending position. But you've got a little more size and uh, for targets in the offensive third. May, uh, Haney unable to get his head on it, but he tracks it down into Quasho. Canute Islander slid, but slid a moment late. And Grant Makala will let it roll all the way back into the 18 and scoop it up to allow his teammates time to settle themselves and reorganize. Now Makala 
Line drive headed straight up in the air by Reese. Eventually knocked out wide by Garrett McLaughlin to Manjoma. Manjoma has his feet taken out from under him. No whistle, plays it back to Haney and then all the way back to Makala. Makala to Tom Haney, lots of room. And Campbell is simply backtracking in front of him. Haney plays it forward to Akeen Shackelford, back to Haney. Drifts across midfield. Had his eyes on Emil Quasho, but so did two of the Campbell defenders. Haney knocks down Alex Ogionu, who then collided with Quasho. So he got bumped from both sides. Gideon Betts with a short touch forward to Ian Reese. Back to Gideon Betts. Morrison's serve hits Nikki Hernandez in the back, straight up and then out of bounds. So Morrison will have a throw in for Campbell. Eight and a half minutes gone in the second half. Mustangs leading 3 0. That time, it was Jalen James again in the box, but this time he is whistled as the guilty party. He took down Canute Allender, and Allender gets up just favoring one leg just a little bit. Looks like he's limping a bit, but he has doesn't seem to have any interest in coming off the field. But again, he was uh, limited during preseason camp because of an injury, so... It's certainly something to watch. That pass intended for Garrett McLaughlin, who had no idea it was coming. He had his back to the play. The ball rolls right past him. And Campbell able to clear it out. Eddie Monjoma now with a short throw in to Nicky Hernandez. And Hernandez to McLaughlin to Quasho and Allender. Allender's clearance or serve just a little bit short. Quasho flicked it behind, his, behind one leg with the other foot connected with McLaughlin. And not that anyone would ever question officials, but the full ball is supposed to be over the line. And at least from this angle, it looked like it was sitting directly on the line. Nonetheless, the officials didn't see it that way. Manjoma able to shoulder it back to Ollander. Islander looked up and saw Lane Warrington on the far sideline with nobody within 20 yards of him. And Warrington has his arms out saying, hey, look how open I am. Long serve forward headed down by Shackelford. Haney touches it forward to Nicky Hernandez, who's able to keep it in bounds with a short pass forward to Eddie Manjoma. When Joma's cross chested up in the air and settled momentarily by Shackelford, but eventually Campbell knocks it away and comes the other direction. Jonu spins away from Josh Burney. Played it back to Sadler on the right side. His long serve into the middle, mishandled by Tom Haney. And that's one of those things where it may have been a lack of communication. Haney is a freshman. Makala hasn't played a lot. Makala looked like he came halfway off his line and stopped. Obviously, from here, we can't hear what was said. So it's certainly hard to point any kind of finger of blame, but that's one that Tom Haney would like to have back because he had some room if he could have settled it or just let it bounce through to Makala. Corner kick coming up, and the entire pack is piled up at the 18. Shackelford gets a foot on it and then runs right through Jalen James as he tries to dial up a volley shot. Nice play by Shackelford. Jalen James gives Shackelford a bit of a shove after he 
Shackelford tried to play through two defenders. He got tangled up with James. They both ended up on the ground. James was clearly the, the uh, guilty party on that. And then he got up, and they had something to say to each other. And James shoved Shackelford. And um, I don't know. Based on just appearances, I don't know that that's one he wants to tangle with. Shackelford is a big, strong, powerful forward. But after a couple of words, cooler heads prevailed. We're back underway. Nikki Hernandez backtracks, splits a couple of players, and ends up tracking the ball down, settles it. Here's Garrett McLaughlin carrying across midfield with some room to run. Umberto Chavez giving chase out wide to Eddie Monjoma, cuts back inside a defender. Sees McLaughlin running through the box, and his pass is a step late. McLaughlin tried to hit the brakes, and by that point, the ball was cleared out over the near touchline. So McLaughlin will have another throw in, and again, the Mustangs will bring all their big targets forward with the exception of Knut Allender. But Tom Haney is up front, almost on the goal line. Talon Maples is in the box. Josh Burney, Akeen Shackelford. Throw a little bit over the head of Tom Haney. Gets headed back in by Maples, but right into the hands of Matt Karazinski. And now the SMU defense retreats. Karazinski taking his time. Looked upfield, now sets it down for a serve. Chested down by Gideon Betts and sent forward looking for Donnelly. And Tom Haney put one over the fence on the far side in the first half. He nearly put one over the top of the bleachers on the west side. That hit the top rail of the fence behind the bleachers, or it would have been in the parking lot behind McIlvaney Hall. Throw in coming up, Ben Morrison of Campbell. Aiming at J.J. Donnelly. It's knotted down and cleared out by Eddie Manjoma. Bit of a tussle for, for space between Michael Barrow, the big center back for Campbell, and Akeen Shackelford. And that time it was Shackelford who was whistled for the foul. Free kick up and over everybody and over the end line. We are under 30 minutes remaining in the second half. Kevin Hudson has called on his first sub of the second half as Caleb Smith will check back in. And Canute Allender, freshman midfielder, seeing his first action of the year, will take a seat. As Grant Makala will line up Another goal kick for the Mustangs. His goal kick a little short of midfield, but over the head of Lane Warrington, bounces through. McLaughlin able to get to it. Now running on to a return pass from Emil Quasho. McLaughlin cuts behind a defender, cross into the middle, looking for Shackelford with the ball headed away by Ian Reese. Caleb Smith able to track it down, sends a ball across looking for Garrett McLaughlin, gets ahead on it, but into the hands of Matt Karazinski. And it's a good thing for Campbell that Karazinski was there because had that bounced through, Shackelford was waiting about a yard in front of the center of an open net. Karazinski, long serve off the head of J.J. Donnelly. And Talon Maples able to just escort that ball into Grant Makala. He stepped in front of Abakan Nasegbi and made no effort to play the ball, just used his body to shield the ball away. Shackelford heads it forward. 
cleared out by the defense over the head of Jalen James. Josh Burney able to track it down on the far side and plays it all the way back to Makala. Makala to Nikki Hernandez. Talon Maples looked right, but then split a couple defenders to find uh, Caleb Smith. Now Nikki Hernandez with the line drive up the right side to Eddie Manjoma. Quick one-time pass to Quasho, whose shot is deflected up and almost out of bounds, but Manjoma tracked it down instead, takes a couple of step overs, steps, steps to his right, gets across. Warrington with a one-time shot, bounced into a defender and cleared out by the Camels. J.J. Donnelly going one on two, able to hit the brakes and both Haney and Smith ran past him. Humberto Chavez now swings it out to the far right side. Nice job by Lane Warrington picking that ball clear and sent it to the corner. And there's Shackelford giving chase, but unable to track it down. Quasho outside the top of the 18, touches it through, looking for Garrett McLaughlin. Honestly, that could have been one of two players. McLaughlin was coming in from the left, and Manjoma was coming in from the right. And Quasho sent it between them. From here, hard to say which one he was aiming at, because that was about as straightforward as it could have been, and split those two players. And the end result was that Karazinski was able to scoop it up for Campbell. And Nikki Hernandez simply kicks the ball out of bounds as one of the Campbell players is down, and he looks hurt. Talon Maples comes over to check on him. Can't see yet who it is that's down. While the training staff heads over to to check on the injured player. Still can't tell who it is. The trainer just lifted his right leg up in the air, at which point he grabbed his left leg. And now I'm wondering if it's a cramp. They are stretching out his, the trainer is, is stretching out yeah, I think it is. He's stretching him out by the uh, pushing his toes up and now rubbing the back of his right calf. So I suspect it's some kind of a cramp. And again, he hasn't sat up yet. We still haven't identified the player. Pouring water on his face to cool off. SMU trainer Becky Regal heads out to check to see if she can offer any help. And that is Jalen James, the freshman forward from Grand Prairie. And uh, he is walking quite slowly. All right, they were stretching out his right calf and he is now holding his left hamstring. So exactly what's wrong is anybody's guess. It might be one of those deals where he simply has multiple cramps going at once and maybe getting a lot of uh, hydration will allow him to come back with, we have 25, 49 remaining in the second half. While James was getting tended to, pretty much all of the players headed over by their benches to get something to drink. Jalen James still walking pretty slowly with some help from the Campbell trainer but certainly good to see him up and walking off under his own power. When he first went down, he looked like he was in an awful lot of pain, and hopefully that's something he can work through. And because Talon Maples did the sportsman-like thing and kicked it out of bounds, Campbell returns the favor and acknowledges the sportsmanship by simply throwing the ball in to Grant Makala. Makala, long serve upfield, bounces 
up into the thigh of Garrett McLaughlin, who's unable to keep possession. So Campbell will come the other way. Ben Morrison swinging toward the left side in front of the SMU bench. Line drive intended for J.J. Donnelly. Gets cleared out, knocked up to Shackelford. Over to McLaughlin, who plays catch for a moment with Caleb Smith. Now Nikki Hernandez. Short drop to Emil Quasho, who fires a shot off the crossbar. And again, we talked in the first game about how we think of Quasho scoring those big goals in the American Athletic Conference tournament last year. Here's another shot. That one by Nikki Hernandez turned aside by Karazinski. Quasho last year scored game-winning goals in two games in the American Athletic Conference tournament. But he's really traditionally more of a playmaker. But that was that was a bomb from 30, 35 yards out. It looked very similar, actually, to one of the game winners last in the uh, conference tournament. <laughs> I don't think the goal is still shaking. But yes, he gave it a he gave it a shot, and it banged off the crossbar pretty hard. Certainly. Uh, he sets up, he creates a lot of plays, but not afraid to pull the trigger. Karazinski able to get a fist on that corner, punches it out to Quasho, who is nearly run over, but able to get the ball through to Hernandez. And Gabe Parrish outshoots J.J. Donnelly by about 25 yards. Caleb Smith gives it away about 20 yards out. And Hernandez backtracks to clean it up. Pretty sloppy exchange on the defensive end by the Mustangs, but Nikki Hernandez, who does so many different things, able to chase back and end that. And Akeen Shackelford almost had another gorgeous goal. All right, Akeen Shackelford scored the only goal against Providence the other night when he ran on to a, a one-time flick by Garrett McLaughlin and curled it just inside the right post. Beautiful goal. Then he tried a bicycle kick in overtime, which, as Chris Petroselli said, if that had gone in, he should have just quit because that would have it was going to be hard to meet, beat that. And now he runs on to the receiving end of a 25, 30-yard cross and in mid-stride jumps up and almost headed it over the goalie from 20 yards out. He uh, certainly is not afraid to take some chances on the offensive end and gives the impression he's going to score several goals like that this year. J.J. Donnelly cuts inside uh, Lane Warrington. His cross is deflected over the end line, so Grant Makala will have another goal kick for SMU. Closing in on 22 minutes now remaining in the second half. SMU leading Campbell 3-0. The goals tonight by Eddie Manjoma, Talon Maples, and Garrett McLaughlin providing the margin on the scoreboard. Certainly a different feel than Friday night's game when SMU was chasing most much of the second half. Now... You get a chance to play a lot of young players, try some different combinations while trying to protect this 3-0 lead. And it hasn't been without, you know, a couple of short breaths as have there have been a couple of miscommunications, but so far, so good. Grant Makala scoops up the ball, directs a little traffic upfield, and launches an incredibly high punt. Comes down on the foot of... Emil Quasho, he's unable to keep it, but it bounces right to Caleb Smith. Now back to Talon Ma Maples. Talon Maples up to uh, Caleb Smith. And now out wide to Tom Haney. Plays it forward to Borum. Trying to line up a quick give and go with Warrington. Warrington instead connects with Emil Quasho who escapes the chaos by dropping back to Josh Burney. Caleb Smith now with a little bit of space looks out wide to Warrington. 
Again, Warrington cuts inside. Looked like he was thinking about maybe a shot. Hernandez tries to thread one through to DJ Williams. But it ends up getting past Williams and the rest of the defense and into the hands of Matt Karazinski. Karazinski uncorks his longest punt of the night, which Tom Haney heads into the Campbell bench. And a couple of substitutions for Campbell. Thibaut Jaquel checks back in, as does number 25, Alamu Mercer Miko. And for the Mustangs, Luke Thompson has returned. And Lane Warrington will take a seat. Jaquel trying to hook up with Ben Morrison on an overlapping run, a little too far out in front. And Makala. Makala didn't really take a page out of the Colin Miller handbook. He was hustling for a loose ball while he's got a 3-0 lead for this goal kick. Although now he's taking his time while his uh, teammates have a moment to get some space upfield. Makala with a long serve had intended for Emil Quesho. Knocked away. Eventually tracked down by Borum, but he's unable to keep it. Bernie trying to get around the corner, does not do so. And Campbell sends it long down the right sideline. Jaquel gets a shoulder into Thompson. And the Camels swing it all the way back to the left where Ben Morrison sent it forward. And he had DJ Williams closing on him in a hurry. And whether he saw him coming or heard him coming, he got rid of it in a hurry. It went out over the touch line. And so Eddie Manjoma will have a throw in for SMU. Manjoma's throw flicked on by Christian Borum. And out of bounds, so Campbell gets to go the other way. Ben Morrison now with Emil Quasho giving chase. His pass picked off by Nicky Hernandez. Hernandez gets it through to DJ Williams. He tries to spin away, gets his feet taken out from under him. Ian Reese took Williams' foot out from under him while he was trying to... Uh, spin around over the ball and got wiped out right in front of referee Travis Haight. No whistle for the, there was a whistle for the trip, not for the fact that Reese then kicked the ball about 60 yards away. Haney to Talon Maples, who flips the ball straight up in the air and then settles it to himself. Now back wide to Haney. Haney, line drive upfield to nobody. DJ Williams is fast, but he's not that fast. That was about 15 yards out in front of him, got over the end line. Substitutions again for Campbell. As Edward Fullwood, six foot one defender, checks in, as does Matt Locke, five eight midfielder for the first time, and George Badico, the Offensive midfielder who started the game is back in the lineup for the Camels as well. Tom Haney able to get ahead on that, but drove it into the Campbell bench. So Fullwood will have a throw in for Campbell. Haney again sends it forward and this time it's within range for DJ Williams. Williams able to start and stop, cuts inside. And looked like he may have had room for a shot, but instead handed off to Quasho. Now Haney, or, uh, Williams runs out of real estate, gets it back to Nicky Hernandez. Hernandez starts forward, cuts inside. Now splits a couple defenders, steps on the ball, pulls it back. Wow. 
Eddie Manjoma went two years without a goal. Now he has two tonight. Beautiful play by Nicky Hernandez to drive into the defense, draw a couple defenders toward him, then pull the ball back, and then he just floated a gentle cross into the middle. Eddie Manjoma able to get his head on it. And for the second time tonight, we are calling Eddie Manjoma's name as a goal scorer. He does so many things for this team. Now you can add offensive threat to his resume. And that play is a beautiful goal by Manjoma, but really started by DJ Williams running onto that ball, creating some space, then heading to the corner, drawing a couple of defenders with him. He got it back to Nicky Hernandez, and Hernandez did very well to shake a couple of defenders um, and then floated a beautiful chip into the center for Manjoma. Substitution for the Mustangs. Carlos Vargas, six foot four freshman defender, checks in as Josh Burney will take a seat. Vargas is a big, strong defender. From Greeley, Colorado. And right away, the ball gets deflected off of Talon Maples back to Vargas, and he's able to knock it out of bounds, setting up a corner kick for the Camels. Just under 15 minutes remaining in the second half now. Mustangs leading Campbell 4-0. And Campbell employing a jailbreak. Everybody is crowded into the arc at the top of the 18. Now here they break and split. Corner kick was intended for J.J. Donnelly, but picked off. I believe it was Maples who got a foot on it. And Mercer Miko on the near side with a little bit of space, has Christian Borum giving chase. And Borum able to get a foot on it, but knocks it out of bounds. He was politicking for an SMU throw, did not get it. And Vargas showing off what you can do when you're six foot four. He went up. Pretty high ball into the box, and he went up and headed it out wide. Mustangs haven't had a defender that big in quite a while. Or at least that tall, I should say. Tripping foul, free kick coming up for the Mustangs. Vargas looked back at, a, at uh, Makala for a moment to see if uh, he should do the honors. It'll be Makala who, who takes this free kick. 13 and a half minutes now remaining in the second half. Makala takes his time as his teammates drift upfield to create a little space on the offensive end. His serve too tall for Borum, but eventually settled by Nicky Hernandez. Started forward, then pulls it back, plays it to Vargas. Vargas with a giveaway, but he's able to backtrack and get the ball back, plays it to Makala. Makala dances around a, uh, a Campbell forward who was pressing into the offensive third. Now Vargas has whistled for a delay of game. He doesn't get a card out of it, but he, he got a, a bit of a shove, drew the whistle, and then he stood for just a second in front of the ball where it's going to be set up for a free kick. And it, that allowed his teammates some time to retreat and line up to mark everybody in the, uh, in the penalty area. Cross into the middle, headed wide of the goal by J.J. Donnelly. A couple of the Campbell players are looking for a whistle. There was some contact while Donnelly was in the air. It looked fairly incidental from here, but in any event, the ball went wide, and Grant Makala will have another... Goal kick. Noah Hilt. Noah Hilt checking back into the game with just under 12 minutes left as Nicky Hernandez will take a seat. Got to assume his night is done as well. 
as the Mustangs enjoy a four-goal lead on the Fighting Camels of Campbell University. Long serve by Makala just off the head of Christian Borum, tracked down by DJ Williams and dropped back to Eddie Manjoma. Manjoma, quick give and go with Hilt and back to Hilt again. Hilt able to cut it back inside to get it to Borum. And Borum handed it off to Emil Quasho, who got caught in a rare giveaway. And you don't see Quasho give the ball away very often. Noah Hilt now getting a yellow card as he yanked a player down from behind. Referee Travis Haight had no hesitation on that one. So with 10.59 remaining in the second half, Campbell with a free kick two yards across midfield. Again, aiming at Donnelly, again, a little too high. It seems like almost every single uh, restart is aimed at number 14 and goes a long way toward explaining why he had so many goals last year. Mercer Miko with a curling cross into the middle. Makala comes out and gets a couple of fists on it and punches it 40 yards off the line. Fullwood trying to thread a pass through, but Borum is able to track it down. DJ Williams decked from behind by Gideon Betts. He went down. A couple of the SMU coaches raised a hand asking why there wasn't a whistle. It may have been shoulder to shoulder contact, but Gideon Betts is a strong physical defender and he caught uh, DJ Williams in mid stride and Williams went down in a hurry. I don't know that it was anything malicious, but it certainly looked like a lopsided collision. Vargas looked upfield, took one step, and then instead played it back to Talon Maples. Maples and Tom Haney playing catch on the back. Haney getting a little risky, trying to cut it through the legs of J.J. Donnelly and ended up losing the ball, but it did go out of bounds, so the Mustangs retain possession. Substitution again for the Mustangs. Now it is Jacob Cohen, the junior from Phoenix, Arizona, checks in. And Emil Quasho will get the rest of the night off. A couple of assists for Quasho this evening. And really dominated a lot of the possession in the midfield. And also nearly got on the scoreboard when he hit a bomb from about 25, 30 yards out. That um, There's a rumor going around that the goal is still shaking. It is not true. He rocked it pretty hard, but it is not still shaking. Eddie Manjoma, quick throw in to Cohen, gets it right back. Now sends a fairly hard pass forward to Borum. Hands it back to Manjoma, and Manjoma plays it. Manjoma thought he played it off of a Campbell defender and out of bounds and was lobbying for a throw in, but did not get it. Another substitution coming in for Campbell. As Alex Igionu checks in. Christian Borum on the receiving end of uh, a little of his own treatment. He, we talk so often about how he pesters people and is just relentless and does everything so fast. That time he was dribbling. He had two guys, one on either hip, tugging on his shirt, bumping his shoulders, and eventually he went down and he did draw the whistle setting up that free kick. Sent all the way in and... Karazinski able to scoop it up before it goes out of bounds. Swings it to the far side to Sadler. Sadler carrying forward, now getting some pressure from Borum. Sends a long high pass for, into the box where Talon Maples is able to get ahead on it. And again, Maples gets his head and clears the ball out.
Tom Haney watches the ball bounce over his head and then circles around, able to clear it out of bounds. Ijeonu pressured by Hilt, and Eddie Manjoma comes away with it, gets around Ijeonu and heads up field, hands it off to Cohen, who backtracks to scoop up the ball, plays it to Talon Maples. Six and a half minutes now remaining in the second half. Caleb Smith back to Maples. Up to Hilt. Out wide to Carlos Vargas. Vargas took a step forward, thought better of it, played to Caleb Smith. At this point, the goal is simply don't give the ball away, make the smart, safe pass repeatedly. Noah Hilt back to Haney. And as he is pressured by Alex Igionu, he plays it all the way back to Makala. Threads it through to Jacob Cohen. Cohen bumped from behind. Nice job by George Bedico to pry the ball free from Cohen. And then Mercer Miko is knocked to the ground, setting up a free kick for the Camels. Gideon Betts looks upfield, instead swings it across to Michael Barrow. Long lead pass down the far right side, but the centering effort by Gabe Parrish drifts off the side of his foot and over the crossbar. So as we close in on the five minute mark of a 4-0 SMU lead, Grant Makala will have another goal kick. Wyatt Priest, the freshman from Coppell, checks back in. Caleb Smith is done for the evening. Makala, long high serve off the back of the head of Priest, but into the chest of one of the Camel defenders, and the Camels come the other way. Carlos Vargas simply wrestles the ball away from Bastian Oberly on the far side. Back to Gideon Betts. Betts looking for Oberly down the right sideline with Luke Thompson giving chase. And Thompson holds his ground, picks the ball free, gets it up to Borum, back to Luke Thompson. Thompson connects with Wyatt Priest, and Priest is wrestled to the ground. And in doing so, draws a whistle from referee Travis Haight. Talon Maples, the sophomore defender and co-captain, Tees it up and launches a long high ball toward the corner intended for Wyatt Priest off his foot and out of bounds. And with three and a half minutes, Campbell will have a throw in in its own end. SMU now with a throw in. Luke Thompson, short throw to Jacob Cohen, back to Thompson. Fights off a defender, gets it to Hilt, up to Cohen, and simply doing a triangle drill. Thompson taken down, draws a free kick. Two and a half minutes now remaining in the second half. And they tried the same overlapping play that worked so well in the first half between Monjoma and Quasho. And that time it wasn't uh, quite as successful. Sub coming in, now it is number 20, Dakota Okwone. 
5'11 junior from Kansas. And Eddie Manjoma gets to enjoy the last couple of minutes of his first two goal game from a uh, spectator seat on the bench. Goal kick. Priest got a head on it, played it off the back of Alex Ijeonu and out of bounds. So Dakota Okwone will have a throw in for SMU in front of his own bench. Short throw to Wyatt Priest and it's dribbled out of bounds. Fullwood with a throw in now for Campbell. Line drive over the top. Ijeonu tried to flick it on with his heel. Ended up getting bumped out of bounds by the uh, by the Mustangs. So Fullwood with another throw in. Again, it's to Ijeonu. Dakota Okwone had both arms wrapped around his chest, but no whistle. Fullwood with another throw. Now about 16 yards off the SMU line. High throw into the box. Tom Haney gets ahead on it, heads it backward over his own goal. With one minute remaining in this game, Campbell will tee up another corner kick. And 50 seconds to see if SMU can preserve a shutout. Fullwood trying to sneak up for the, from the back for a short corner. Ijeonu had uh, inside position and got a head on that and had some spice on it, but his header was a few yards wide of the left goal post. And we are now inside 30 seconds. Grant Makala tees up a goal kick in what will result in the Mustangs' first victory of the season. He stops, looks at the looks at the uh, clock over his head, and sends one about five yards beyond midfield. Noah Hilt tracks it down. We're in the final 10 seconds. Out wide to Luke Thompson, who's simply looking for geography, sends it upfield, and that will do it. Impressive, complete game by the Mustangs. Final score: SMU four, Campbell zero. The Mustangs have evened their record at one and one. Goals tonight by Talon Maples, Garrett McLaughlin, and how about two goals tonight from Eddie Manjoma, the first two of his career. We will try to line up an interview for, with him for uh, on PonyFans.com. In the meantime, the Mustangs win, and Grant Makala uh, pitched a shutout in his first, st first start. Only really tested twice. He had one acrobatic save in the first half where he across was deflected and he had to throw one arm up in the air at the last minute to deflect over the crossbar and then he swallowed up a penalty kick early in the second half to preserve the shutout for SMU. Final score again from Westcott Field. SMU 4, Campbell 0. Thanks for joining us on Pony Up TV here at Westcott Field. Have a good night.